Hey, talking boxing. This is Mr. A on Double RT Boxing. Uh, breakdown prediction for the headliner on tomorrow's Toe to Toe Tuesday on FS1 PBC, um, August 22nd, 2017, between Alexia Santiago versus Juan Carlos Payano. We're going to start off with Alexius. He has pretty good ring movement. He he understands score some shots and skate around and or either move around to find that timing or that angle to score some shots. He has a decent combos. He, he goes a one two to a body hook or a hook to a body. Um, he doubles up on the jabs. Um, that's about pretty much I find more flaws than the uh, pros with him. Now he's he's open to a overhand right consistently. So he will throw the thing, and he's easily countered just push right over his his uh jab. During, and when he does throw his combos which are nice, um his head straight up in the box. It's he doesn't move his head or nothing. He just Ah, it's, it's there. That's why he gets caught with so many overhand rights because when he throws, his head is right there. So there's no head movement. He has heavy legs. He doesn't like when he's like he can move around the ring, but when he's throwing punches, he's not like using his legs. It's just real heavy. And he needs to be first. Like when when he throws first, he gives himself a better chance. And when and I noticed in all his fights, especially his last fight, when he was throwing first, he was winning those rounds, and the, at the time he was winning that round. Now, as for Juan Carlos, oh, and before I go on, the fact that he has no head movement, he can't handle speed, because the speed kind of like freezes him, and he just stands there, and that bleeds in right into. Uh, Juan Carlos Payano. Juan Carlos has faster feet, faster hands, and I think he has more power in the, the the hands. He has a way way better body attack, Juan Carlos Payano. Um, that's one thing I don't see much of Santiago ever going to the body, unless he gets hit to the body and he tries to answer back. He doesn't really aim to the body. Like I said, he goes like a jab, jab, and maybe to a body hit, but he doesn't constantly work the body. He's a he, he's about a, I say about an eighty percent, nine eighty five percent head hunter. Now it's Juan Carlos Bayano. I think he's just too fast for him on his feet. I think he's a he's gonna have he can use all the angles on him. He's gonna one two him. Yeah, I think I think I think Juan Carlos is gonna start off on the body and then work himself upward. And I believe uh, that is speed it's going to be too much for uh, Santiago. I think Juan Payano, is good. He's, going to, he's good at creating angles. He's good at hitting, hitting, and then skating up to the side, not going straight back. Another just, just quick little breakdown. Now, on the prediction-wise, I think I'm going with Juan Carlos Payano to win this fight. I'm just trying to think, is he going to stop him or decision? Because he has too much, he has too much foot speed. And, and coming in and out of uh, combinations. He could dart in, dart out, to the side, to the side. And I think Santiago's going to be lost trying to track him down. I think I think he's going to wear Santiago's body down. He's going to tire him out and then the head shots around, around, around. He's, um, Juan Carlos is going to be hitting him. Probably around round three, he's going to be really hitting from good shots to the head. First two is going to be working the body, but around round five or six, you're going to really see, I think, a beating start. And I'm trying to think, uh, I go with around like the late round stoppage for Juan Carlos Payano. This is Mr. A, right here on Double RT Boxing. Ready, ready, talk that boxing. Please subscribe if you already have it. Share the videos, leave comments, thumbs up, make them blue, please. Let's get this channel growing. Thank you for your support.